Hello, I'm Laura Sheets. Tourism is playing a bigger role today in the economic and cultural life of Davies County. Samantha Bobbitt, Executive Director of the Davies County Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Bureau, is a native of the community. Her grandparents were Old Order Amish. She currently has Amish and Mennonite relatives, and due to her secular and religious choices, she is considered to be what the Amish refer to as English within the community. She was able to help me understand the English-Amish dynamic within Davies County and how the interest in Amish crafts is spurring growth in Davis County tourism. Many people are very curious about the Amish culture and the way that they live, but it's really just a way of life that is very deeply seated with family, church, and separation from the secular world. And their lives really revolve around each other and keeping the community intact. I mean, that's what's really important, and it's the most important thing that I believe that keeps them connected. Uh, anything that breaks down that con connectedness, such as distracted technology or anything like that, is seen as unwanted. But they're really adaptive to modern technology. Um, anything that doesn't impinge on their values, such as solar and wind, power, and methods other than electricity, anything to make their lives and livelihoods just a little bit easier. You would be hard pressed to find a harder working or more entrepreneurial spirit than what is in their community. Just be respectful of their wishes and not photograph if possible. It's just one of the things they believe deeply in. I started my Amish experience with a visit to Dinky's Auction Center, the Amish auction held most Friday evenings other than religious holidays. They auctioned everything from lots of fresh produce to quilts to furniture to livestock and there were easily as many buggies as cars in the parking lot. These Friday night gatherings draw many, many tourist bargain hunters from all over the region. After Dinkies, I wanted to learn more about local Amish craftspeople. There are a number of Amish and Mennonite fixtures in Davies County, like the Gastoff Amish Village in Inn in Montgomery, and Coffee House Bakery in Odin, that are pretty easily accessible to the uninitiated. Some even have a web presence. But to get to the grassroots level, Samantha suggested that I take one of the Dillon Amish Country Tours. Mark Dillon schedules laid-back tours directly with Amish entrepreneurs, many of whom are women, by the way. Remember that Old Order Amish avoid telephones and major exterior signage. The tours can really be structured however you would like them and really suited to what your interests are in the community. And they often are ended by having a meal at an Amish home. Transportation is normally provided for these tours, and that way you don't have to worry about how you get to each different location. We hit the unpaved roads, which are better for horses, in search of the true Amish culture. Because Amish craftspeople do not seek the limelight, we photographed only their handiwork. Did you know that people often make egg noodles and angel food cake at the same time to make efficient use of the whole egg? Samantha also suggested that I talk with Jenna Johnson, a Davies County native whose educational goal is to teach kindergarten in Davies County. We caught up with her at soccer practice. People my age like the fact that Davies County has so many opportunities for water sports. We have golf courses in Montgomery and Washington, local landmarks Mason's Root Beer Stand, and the White Steamer. We ended the day at the Lakeview Amish Restaurant on West Boggs Lake, which seemed an appropriate place to ponder the Amish and the water amenities in this seemingly landlocked county. I'm glad I brought my sweet tooth and an open mind. 